Hey guys, I uh, wanted to make a quick little video on um, runes for Kha'Zix and uh, I want to start this off by saying I think that runes matter very very little and I mean um, for example I have a friend who is he's going unranked to challenger and I think he's 16-0 actually Ooh, he has two losses so uh that would be 16 and 2 yes he's 16 and 2 right now but he's only going he's only going aftershock or grasp on draven so like that's he's just doing this to show that runes are very minuscule obviously you can use runes to help you climb but it's definitely not needed. Like, runes are not going to make or break a game. It's mostly just skill-based, uh, game knowledge, everything like that. If you deserve a rank, even if you're not using the 100% correct runes, you can still definitely get that rank. But uh, these are the runes that I prefer to take on Kha'Zix. If I can get there. So, there's three or four different pages. Four or five, actually. So... To start off, you can do the basic Electrocute page. So you take Electrocute because obviously the Electrocute damage. You take Sudden Impact for your jump. Eyeball Collection because it's just going to give you more AD as you get more kills and takedowns. And then Ravenous Hunter for the healing. And then Secondary, you can take quite a few things. Um, you can definitely take Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight. Or what I've been doing when I go Electrocute is Nimbus Cloak because it's extremely broken right now. And then without that, you can, um, after that, you can do Absolute Focus or Transcendence. And with my build path, I prefer Transcendence because my build usually goes over the 40% cap anyway. And it just turns it into AD. And you get 12 AD for every 10% that uh, you're over the cap. So that's way better than the absolute focus, what it gives you for it. So grants 1.8 attack damage at level 1, um, up to 18 attack damage. So literally just 10% over gives you 12 compared to the 18 for you being level 18 and everything like that. And then you can also go the Dark Harvest, and you would take, uh, you would uh, keep these the same, Sudden Impact, Eyeball, Ravenous. And then again, you can do either Nimbus Transcendence, or you can do the Magical Footwear Cosmic Insight. And with the Magical Footwear Cosmic Insight, you just don't really have to focus on buying your boots. Otherwise, I get boots pretty early, but with this, you literally just... Build your full damage, build your path that you're wanting to go, and you just magically get boots. Awesome. Um, now, more recently, these are the two older paths that almost everyone used to take. And then more recently, I only take the following two. I either take Phase Rush, because Kha'Zix just got buffed with his Q isolation damage. And even though in patch 10.16, he's getting nerfed, it's still more than it used to be. And I feel like you have the damage output to kill people. And Phase Rush just lets you stay on them. And lets you have also the opportunity to take Ignite. Because you don't, you're like, you're so speedy that you don't even need Flash. So what I usually do is I do Phase Rush, Nimbus Cloak, which also helps if you take Ignite. Because it lets you stay, uh, whenever you Ignite, you get the movement speed. And then I go Transcendence. And then Water Walking. And then secondary, I usually just go domination. And um, there's two things I go. I always go Ravenous Hunter no matter what. And then you can go Eyeball Collection or you can go Sudden Impact. Either one is fine. I prefer Eyeball Collection. Um, I think it just helps me a lot more. And I usually go this build only and strictly when I'm playing Lethality. So usually with this, I would build my jungle item. Uh, preferably, for preferably Red Smite. So I'd go Red Smite Warriors into Duskblade. And of course, Boots somewhere in this. But uh, Red Smite Warriors, Duskblade. And then depending on the game, you could go Death Dance. You could go Edge of Night, Yumu's. Wh whatever you need to work with that game. 
And then last but definitely not least, what I've been doing uh, a lot more often, um, usually if they have two or three tanks, I go this, and that's just the, uh, the Conqueror. And then I take Triumph, Tenacity, and Last Stand. And then secondary, I do the same thing as the last one. I always, always, always take Ravenous Hunter. And then either one really works, Sudden Impact or Eyeball. And these don't really matter, it's just whatever you prefer. Uh, I prefer Attack Speed, Flex, either Defense or MR uh, for pretty much all of the Maroon Pages I take. And I usually just switch between Armor and MR depending on which they have more of. But yeah, like I said, these are just the ones that I prefer on Kha'Zix. Um, you're definitely able to experiment and do whatever you would like to see if maybe you like something else. Um, at one point, I actually was experimenting with W Evolve first, and I was taking uh, Magical Footwear with Approach Velocity. And I was just W evolving, uh, getting the slow, and then running at them really quick. I didn't really like that that much, but if you want to find new rune pages, you just have to theory craft and see what works best for you, you and your playstyle. But uh, if I go the Conqueror page, I always go uh, my Warrior, uh, Red Smite Warrior, Tier 2 Boots, and then I usually go either Black Cleaver or Death Dance. And then do the other one. So if I go Death Dance first, I go Black Cleaver second, or vice versa. And then after that, you're pretty much set to either go Sterix, GA. Um, even if you wanted to get Edge of Night or Duskblade or something like that afterwards, that's a good option. But I just prefer uh, I just prefer the uh, GA or Sterix for the tankiness. And this is my first video uh, recently, like this, that just isn't a full gameplay. If you like something like this more, I also plan on getting an editor soon. And hopefully we can uh, we can get better videos out for you guys. But make sure to hit the like button, boys. Leave a comment uh, on if you like the full gameplays or if you would prefer me get an editor. Um, and yeah, I appreciate it. Uh, in, the, in the description below... Uh, feel free to sign up for Patreon, anything like that. Um, my Twitter's down there, my Twitch, if you don't watch my live streams. Um, I'm live streaming every single day, and this is my full-time full time job right now. Um, so I really do appreciate it, guys, and I'll see you next video.